Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Firewatch. Um, we are trying to find the two teenagers because apparently they've been cutting the wires, the telephone wires. Well, we don't know, but it appears so because of the, um, well, all the, uh, beer cans and such nearby. And now we're following the tiny little plume of smoke there, if you can see it, just over there be below the reticle. Anyway. But yeah, things are, things are, you know... Slowly getting more and more interesting. Why would the girls do that? Who was that mysterious man? Why did someone ransack our uh, watch tower thing? And um, what was Delilah talking about when she didn't know she was transmitting to us? She was clearly talking about us and about something we had no idea about. I don't know. You know, I know this is completely and utterly cliche, nope. but I really kind of hope that this game will turn sci-fi or something, you know, aliens or something. I know it's cliche, I know, but it's just... Well, that's cool, you can go up there. Wow, I'm on top of a natural bridge out here. Really? Is it a complete arch? Uh, no, I guess the bridge is out here. Still, I think I could jump this gap to get across the canyon. Ah, oh, you're a regular evil Knievel. Oh yeah, you should see the jumpsuit I'm wearing. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. There's the smoke. So I obviously need to go over here. Not use the rope. But I'm guessing our ropes are unlimited now, because he said, you know, last time when we found that backpack, that there's loads of ropes in there. So, well, there you go. Alright. Wow. Lots of climbing here. Uh-oh, music. Something's gonna go on. Something's gonna happen. Hmm. More rocks. I can zoom in quite a bit. Is it gonna be that man again? <laughs> That'd be interesting. So, where exactly are we? Alright. Where's the plume of smoke? It should be here somewhere. That's some nice music. Very, very sad um, story about our wife, though. That's the one we've already opened, I believe, right? Yes. What? Where did that come from? Why can I eat it all? Does that change anything? I don't know. And do we actually have to eat? Now, where is the smoke? Oh, there it is. I wouldn't have seen it if it didn't say it. So it is to the west-southwest. West, southwest, so over there somewhere, Lake Trail, I guess. So, how'd you meet? I met in a bar. Mm, the birthplace of modern romance. I stumbled over and told her she was pretty, and that was it. Aw, you were brave. I was drunk. <laughs> There's a plume of smoke. That's a huge plume of smoke. Right. Now our mission, if you remember, is to scare the hell out of those girls. Of course, when they're not there, it's steep. We meet again, Widowmaker. You haven't beat me yet. You ready to give it another shot? <laughs> Do I seriously have to? To get down to Five Mile Creek? Yeah, afraid so. It's quite a ways downhill from here. Uh. <laughs> It's not that steep, but, well, there you go. Alright, plume of smoke, I shall find you. Oh, what's going on? I shall find you. Fair are you? Oh, another one. It's nice that we have unlimited robes. I don't really need this rope, but I'll be attaching any I can find. Actually, 
I might need it. Uh, you know, for later. Um, so that is south. No, that's definitely not where I want to go. Because south would go down there, and this plume of smoke... Oh! Actually, he circled it. Okay, it's very far away then. Then we do need to go south. Alright. Fair enough. Let us go then. I'm really intrigued at, you know, what will happen next. Because things are kind of mysterious. Please be, let it be aliens. <laughs> I know a lot of people are cringing now, but hey, that's what I like. Sci-fi and aliens! This is a very relaxing game, I have to say, you know. Like I've already said, but there you go. Where did the plume go? It's over there somewhere. There's another supply cache I can get. You are mine, supply cache! One, two... You would think that these things would rust. You know, being out in the open like this, but I guess not. Let's copy the information. Don't really know what he's copying, but... <clears throat> missing person file. Oops. Mitch Michaels, 31, 62, short brown, blah blah blah, distinctive facial hair. Mitch Michaels was last seen around Jonesy Lake on July 3rd, 1981. He was first reported missing on July 29th, 1981 by Forest Service personnel. He is not known to be familiar with the area. Vehicle info, Ford F-250, blue and white, Montana lists license, I guess. If you have seen, contacted them or have more info. Special bulletin. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a ptsd a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. You really didn't like that guy. PTSD? PTSD? That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I don't know. He was in the army. He was... off. It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. She'd been taking care of him, and Ned was the only next of kin. Damn. And you got to know Brian a little bit? Yeah. I talked to him way more than I'd talked to Ned, that's for sure. How was he at, uh, you know, spotting fires? <laughs> Better than you. He actually liked to stay in the tower. Great. <laughs> Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years. That's cool. Through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Hmm. Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Excellent. Found one of their empties. Guess we're on the right track. Roger that. Alright, let's put that into the backpack. Now we can just follow the stream to the smoke. To the plume of smoke. What is that? Oh, just a tuft of grass. It's very cool. Found another. Roger that. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna report everything. Alright. So do we follow the stream? Oh, I'm already there. I just need to go north now. Yep. Follow the stream it is. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. What the hell? That... That's odd. Unless they want to scare me. Which is possible, actually. You know, they might be preparing an ambush. This might be their way of doing it, but, uh... There it is. I see a campsite, and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? 
Now it seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. <laughs> Track them down, and don't let them see you. What a job this is. Teen zone. I have entered the teen zone. Um. Oh, really? And where's that? It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. Makeup to make out. The hottest tips, the hottest guys, the hottest gossip, all here in Teen Zone. Case of beer. <laughs> These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. Dangerous hunks? Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on earth are you... It's another one of those magazines. Tame your hunk with your top hunk tips. That's just bad. I like how the case of beer looks like. It's pretty cool. Um, right, so there's... Uh, are they in there? Their tent looks like it's been through the shredder. Wow. Which would explain that scrap I found. What could have done that? Like a, like a bear or... Um... I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it, did not hold back. You've got that camera, right? Oh, It that... might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Well, there you go. Yeah, good thinking. That's what I was doing. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> some of their clothes are all torn up. The uh, huh? that's not good. A werewolf? Dear Psycho, I hope you're fucking happy. We're leaving and we're going to find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped us out, uh, creeped on us in the lake and then came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is gross out. Gross out? You're probably a mental fucking axe murderer and are so going to jail. I hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks, dick. Heart. <laughs> well, they're gone for sure. How can you tell? Well, the girls left someone, me, I guess, a note. Well, what's it say? They're calling the police? They're threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, uh, did you? No. I just stole their booze. No, well, hey, I didn't do this, okay? Someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. Yeah, I took their whiskey back at the lake, but that just felt like, I don't know, the cost of doing business. That's different, okay? And I don't blame you. This is, I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's, it's okay. I believe you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. It could yeah, be me too. It could be a bear, you know. I just started thinking. Oh no, those are my. I couldn't see my sheets there. I mean, I couldn't examine them. Apparently, they took my sheets. What? The, oh God, that's so weird. A <laughs> broken window. Oh, you can board it up. Interesting. Find boards downstairs to patch the window. All right. Well, let's do that then. I cannot jog for some reason. I'll probably be able to jog down hey, now. Henry? Yes. Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Um, why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. Uh, like Burt Reynolds. <laughs> if Tom Cruise had a good, yeah, like Burt Reynolds. Well, I get confused for Burt Reynolds all the time. Oh, is that so? Women say that we have a similar musk. Uh. -huh. uh. Hey, you asked. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. <laughs> it's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow, <laughs> I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Uh, clothes? Tuxedos. <laughs> clothes. I don't really think about it. Oh, come on. I got a sweatshirt I like. Good jacket I got at the Buckle Barn. Ooh, I love the Buckle Barn. 
Just one of those brown ones, you know? I do. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. Um. What do I see? Uh. Hmm. Thick beard? A uh, pretty thick beard. Oh. Have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right. Perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Okay. You know what? Is, is that okay? Uh. Don't. Don't answer. I'm going to do it regardless. Fine. <laughs> your eyes. Tell me. Uh. Steely. They're, uh, they're steely. A cold, hard stare. Mm, like a Siberian husky. <laughs> uh, sure. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. Do you get what you need? Absolutely. <laughs> That's interesting, okay. I'm hoping we're gonna get to see that picture. I got that window all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh. Wow. Yeah. September 1st. Let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. Ready for work. Alright, so we can, uh, we can just say we're ready for work at any time. I want to place it down nicely, but he just sort of throws it. You know, any old way. Um, we really shouldn't be using the generator, you know... ...in daylight, I'm thinking. Or unless we're cooking and stuff. But, okay. Alright, so I guess we're ready. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. <laughs> I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Of course. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. It's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. <laughs> Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. Oh. Ah. Day nine. The game really doesn't, you know... Uh, play about when it just does day nine. Oh, oh. holy crap! Hello, Henry. Having a nice afternoon? Well, that's really pretty. Not too bad. I could get used to it out here. That's nice. Look, um, I called with bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. Oh. You're supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. Okay. Uh, you should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? Uh, no. I... I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah. I'll, uh... I'll, I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. She's very worried about talking to the cops for some reason. That's weird. Oh, that was day 9. This is day 15. What about our wife? It's all very kind of sad. Henry... Henry, wake up. What the hell's going on? Get out of bed and pick up the radio. Uh-oh. Something's going down. We're gonna find out next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.